Most animals can synthesize their own vitamin C, but when they do, it's not considered a vitamin. So when sailors were getting scurvy left and right, the ones who ate the rats on the ship were a little bit less likely to develop it because they got a little vitamin C in their diet, whether they knew it or not. Now vitamins are considered essential nutrients, along with 9 amino acids, 2 fatty acids, 15 minerals, and choline. And the thing that makes an essential nutrient an essential nutrient instead of just a regular old run-of-the-mill nutrient is your body needs it to function properly, but it can't synthesize it by itself. Reptiles and most older order birds make vitamin C in their kidneys. Recent order birds and most mammals make it in their liver. But us humans and most primates have lost the ability to synthesize it ourselves. But lemur-like primates can make it themselves. Other than that, most bats can't make it. Guinea pigs and capybaras gotta get it in their diet too. And like 96% of fish don't produce their own C. And vitamin D is a weird case of vitamin too. Because we can make our own vitamin D in our skin if we get out in the sun enough. If we get enough vitamin D from the sun and synthesize all we need because of that, then technically it's not essential and therefore not a vitamin. Then if you get the D you need from something like fortified milk, then it is essential and is a vitamin. In the 1930s in the States, we started fortifying milk with vitamin D as an effort to eliminate rickets in children, which can be caused by a vitamin D deficiency. Apparently they were putting the D in everything from beer to hot dogs to peanut butter to bread. To the point where children were getting too much vitamin D and were developing vitamin D toxicity and most European countries ban vitamin D fortification in milk to this day.